morning or well yes it's morning and it's also morning when this is posting so i'm gonna say good morning whether that's the time of your day um today is a cozy sunday in march and um you just saw a little bit of footage uh especially the pie please notice the pie johannes really wanted to make pie so uh him and i actually made that i know super easy just jam strawberries and pre-made dough and then into the oven with a little bit of extra butter and uh it turned out amazing um well today is sunday and i just wanted to check in with you guys i have like a few things to tell i wanted to show um I wanted to show a little bit of a haul because I uh, did a bit of uh, new shopping as well, some staple pieces. And then uh, I also want to do a really quick and dirty uh, elevation DIY of a knitted sweater. So that's also what we're going to do today. Um, if you want to see only the sweater part, you can probably jump to this. Uh, you can jump to this time right here <laughs> and otherwise just uh, lean back and watch me be super happy about stuff I bought. Well, welcome to the vlog. Happy Monday. And uh, yeah, if you're new, please consider hanging out, staying a while and subscribing. Okay, first things first. I got this top at Sarah and it was really nice it has like a built-in bra so i'm gonna go back and get that in every color it was uh quite cheap but um but it fits really nicely and the material is really nice that's always one thing i say look for the material not the price tag um so yeah i'm gonna get more of these today and then i got these pants from uh something called vendor bees uh, I've seen the Instagram uh, ad like so many times and yes, I fell for it, but um, they're actually super, super nice. I got them in a medium and I got them on sale um, and the medium turned out to be too big. So this is a small that's also a little bit too big, unfortunately, um, but the medium ones I just, I, sew I sewed like a stitch in the back to pull in the waist a bit. Um, so yeah. I'm really into this like, I don't know, flared pants thing, but I have really short legs, so I always need to find find the right fit uh, so I don't have to wear um, heels all the time. All right, and then I also got uh, a super nice knitted sweater that looks like this. It has like a bit of, um, I don't know, rugged up patches which i really love i used to have another one when uh, h&m did like a design um cooperation and that one i had to throw out after 10 years so really into this one also from sarah um it's also longer but i don't want to wear it long with these pants because <laughs> that kind of looks <laughs> looks weird um but yeah imagine with jean shorts and a nice like chunky sandal in the summer um yeah I love it. And then, drum roll please. <laughs> I got this one guys. I don't know. I feel like it's the perfect dress. It's a uh, shitty weather outside but soon, soon the sun will be here and I will be wearing this dress with sneakers, heels, I don't know, everything. It's uh, Sarah. Uh, and it's a size medium. I also got into the small, but I just I want to be able to breathe and be really comfortable. So Yes This is it Let's uh, Let's do the DIY. I'm actually gonna go and get the sweater real quick. Okay, so I got this sweater and uh, Normally, I'm a size like 36. We all know women's sizing is fake uh, just look at the clothes I just put on but I'm normally a size 36 in like these type of wear and I got it in a size uh, 50 because <laughs> I really wanted it to be oversized um, so it's really nice and big um, and it just I love the stripes it's kind of like a, I don't know it's just like a very classic piece but I don't like the buttons and I feel like it's missing a bit of pizzazz 
So we are gonna turn this sweater <laughs> from, uh, from this into something really nice. Okay, so um, the first thing I said was I didn't like the buttons, so that's a very, very easy exchange. We're just gonna exchange those. And then I wanted a little bit of extra pizzazz. So um, for the buttons, I went to my local hobby store and I just picked up uh, four new buttons. They are a little bit smaller than the ones that are on the sweater. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna just put in like a little stitch I think like half a centimeter down this hole just to make it a bit more secure so I can actually use them. Uh, they're not that much smaller, but they're a bit smaller. So we're gonna exchange the buttons. And then I also found this uh, iron on. And I think that could be like a really nice thing to maybe put on the side here. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's, uh, let's do that. Life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire I my loves here is the final result I'm absolutely in love with this like elevation I don't think you can call it an upcycle when it's a new item but even if it's a new or you know used item I think elevating it sounds better um, decided to do the buttonholes uh, vertically instead of horizontally which I also think has a really really nice detail to it um, and then black thread to just make sure that this sweater has a few cohesive elements. But yeah, this is all done. We are actually gonna go see a friend and a new human to this world now, and uh, I'm not gonna take you guys, I'm just gonna focus on Johannes and them. So yeah, it was a short one, but I'll, uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.